Good evening, everyone. I'm Kristen Farley. Tonight, homegrown Olympian back in town. Of course, we're talking about Claire Donahue, and yes, she is wearing a gold medal around her neck. Six News brought you live coverage last night at 11 o'clock of Donahue's return from London, where she participated in a team swimming event that took first place. Now the Lenore City native is back from her whirlwind tour across the world. She joins us live to talk about the trip. Claire, so glad to have you uh, here. It's good to be here. First and foremost, hold that medal up, show the camera. This is what everyone is talking about here. As you're holding that, has it sunk in yet? Um, kind of. I mean, it's just, just to go to the Olympics is huge. And then I got to swim my individual, which was amazing and so much fun. And then when they got the gold or when we got the gold, I was like, oh my gosh, I was standing next to the other girls who we were um, hugging and some girls were crying. It was, it was really cool. I can imagine. I mean, you've worked for this for a lifetime. And now to be holding this, I know. <laughs> it's amazing. And I asked early when you walked into the studio, how are you holding up? Because You've been really on a whirlwind tour. I saw you on the news last night at 11, yeah. and I'm sure you've been doing interviews all day. Yeah, I mean, it's been kind of crazy since I've been back. It's just, but it's been, more than anything, it's been fun. And um, I've had a little bit of time to think about it and like think what, where I've come and how far I've come from like being a little girl and wanting this so bad and now having it. Like, it's just so weird to think about like then and then now, and um, that little girl is smiling through. <laughs> yes, she is. I, I have to ask the question that a lot of people want to know. You did so great in London. Will we see you in Rio, yeah. maybe? <laughs> well, um, that's another thing that I've really been thinking about and continue to think about. But yes, uh, Rio 16 is de uh, 2016 is definitely a possibility. Uh, right now, I'm just going to take it, take it a year at a time and uh, see where that takes me. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the immediate future. Where do you go when you come back to the United States after all this training and then the Olympics? Is it, you know, rest and relaxation or are you right back at it again? No, rest and relaxation. Um, mm -hmm. The Olympics, is, after the Olympics, everybody takes a long break. And so my plan is to take a, a month break and then after that, um, I'll get back into it. But I'm already kind of itching to get back in and start racing again. <laughs> you know, you were really active on social media, tweeting, Facebooking, and really communicating with all of us back here at home. What was it like knowing that all of East Tennessee was watching and supporting you and your parents were yeah. so proud? Yeah, I mean, my parents, you know, that's something you expect. They've always been supportive and great with me. And um, But when I got the reaction I did from, you know, East Tennessee and Lenore City and uh, back at Western Kentucky, it was huge. Like, something I didn't even expect. And they're showing the, the banners that they made, professionally yeah. made huge banners. These yeah. aren't like poster board and no. markers. These are the real thing. Yeah, and when we drove up last night to my house, there were like two or three of them and some at the front of my inter or from intersection and uh, oh my gosh it was just it was amazing I, I didn't expect it <laughs> I imagine as a little girl you had someone that you looked up to as you were training yeah. and, and now lots of little girls are gonna be looking up to you what do you want to say to them tonight um, just that I mean it doesn't matter where you come from I mean I'm from a very small town went to mid-major school and so it doesn't matter who you are as long as you want it bad enough and you try hard enough um, it can that dream can become a possibility <laughs> it's absolutely amazing and, and you know a lot of people who he here watching the games, it seems exciting to us. But you were there firsthand, so can you yeah. describe, can you even put into words what the atmosphere was um, like there? It was kind of insane. I mean, there were so many things going on, and um, it was so such a big thing. Like, the venues were huge, the village was huge, and just, like, so many amazing athletes. I mean, being in the same category as them, in the same village as them, um, just everything, I don't know, to sum it up, was just incredible. I think that's the perfect word for it. <laughs> Claire, thank you so very much. Again, congratulations. So happy thank to meet you, you so and happy much. to see that gold medal back here <laughs> in East Tennessee. Thank you very much.